Tonight, detectives in Broward are trying to find out exactly how firefighters and even police officers themselves had their identity stolen by fraudsters filing false tax returns. And it could happen to you. The CIU's Willard Shepard has the latest on the fight to get your identity back when the scammers steal it. The first thing I saw was a $20,000 car that was not mine. Tuesday, the frustration continues for school teacher Sharon Blake. She doesn't know how, but two months ago, her identity was stolen. And I then found out that someone stole my name. The scammers made off with Sharon's social security number, have credit cards in her name, even a loan. She can't even get a mortgage. Because I wanted to purchase a place and move, and I have no credit. So the first thing we did was we filed this Federal Trade Commission complaint. Now, hope for Sharon and all who had their identities taken. Credit expert Elizabeth Karwowski told the CIU, the government has a better way now for you to fix all the headaches when your identity is taken. The Federal Trade Commission has established a website form that is one-stop shopping for identity theft victims. So it's not guessing. You're not having to make a call here and there and there and being frantic about it. You know exactly what steps you need to take. The FTC program gives you detailed instruction, points you to credit card firms, to dispute credit reports, and protects you against future fraud. Sharon's use of the program is getting her back on track. It's, it's a place to start. You have to notify them first that you, this has happened to you. It could happen to anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. One additional thing that the FTC website directs you to do, go to your local police department and file a police report with them. If you've unfortunately been the victim of identity theft and need assistance, go over to our website, NBCMiami.com, and search news links. Willard Shepard, NBC Miami.